what up guys welcome back to the channel michael and again and yet another video and this is going to be you know you know interesting my forex trading journey how i started my forex trading journey i'm going to walk you guys through everything how i got involved my process and everything so just stay tuned don't forget to like this content and subscribe for more of my work content if you like my content it's gonna help this channel grow trying to get to 1k subs before the year runs out so i can help your boy achieve that goal right so 2019 the beginning that's where i got introduced into forex trading so i'm i was like i graduated high school at the age of um 16 that was 2018 so after high school i just entered uni so there was no like you know long time for me to like think about my career to see what i really wanted to do just all about this you know african mentality of either studying of you studying medicine pharmacy law or any of those stuff after high school right so that was the transition i was in so i got into school pharmacy school by 2018 then by 2019 i got you know i got introduced into forex trading so like i got out of high school mm, at 16 and had room what career talk i just wanted to be wealthy and what financially free most especially to support my parents because i didn't come from a very rich background so i've just always watched my parents really struggle to make us make ends meet so i just wanted to like you know help them in what they were doing so um i was 17 and i needed to start something i could like do from the work, comfort of my home i loved i loved i loved comfort i loved something i could just stay on my own right and just do right without like stressing or going out to beg someone or working under someone i just had that mentality from day one so i really wanted to like you know do anything that could relate to that aspect so i got introduced to first trading by a friend my classmate shout out to you sky yeah he was my classmate and i was just you know this curious person this, i was just this guy that was always eager to learn so um i saw his charts i saw some graphs that he posted on his whatsapp how he made money during exams how everything and i was very 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 interested in it and i told him to tell me more about it and luckily he told me he gave me the materials i needed to study and everything so then i had that course i had i had those materials just um weeks before the long vac so i took those materials and i went home and i studied so it took me two months to learn about forex trade and the funny thing is that i was just learning about just one type of trading but other other aspects were in it he was talking about psychology how you could end that trade but i was just learning harmonic trading i know harmonic trading harmonic um trading is not very very common right now and i don't know anybody that trades harmonic patterns again unlike before so i was just learning harmonic patterns and now i couldn't afford mentorships right i told you i was like from a struggling home so i couldn't afford mentorships like I could i didn't have the money for it and my parents couldn't even pay for it so i so i i just got um stocked up with the what material so this was how my learning process was just like as if i was studying for an exam or i was studying yeah i was studying for an exam something like that so i was just reading books and on my brother's laptop then i didn't even have a laptop so i was just reading the materials on his laptop and everything i couldn't even access the internet then so when from africa like africa nigerians i think when when you're like little if you don't really have a very rich background you won't really have the access to internet like that because you know you buy data and everything so i didn't have access to the internet so i couldn't even watch on youtube so i just kept on read, reading 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 then immediately i started demo trading right so that's how i started my forex journey so it was kind of you know it was kind of tricky it was kind of not smooth right unlike right now where everybody just gets information from youtube everywhere started, you just started joining so easily right then back then it was not that easy right so now 2020 to 2021 okay that was the year that i was striving for consistency you know when you start trading forex you it's very normal to like you know get 
and then get your hands on different strategies before you even choose the ones you want to go for because you're just naive you just want to learn it you don't know anything about this industry you just want to like find a strategy that you feel like is going to make you money so it's very 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 okay for you to you know be in that phase so in 2020 2021 i started trading a live account with 50 dollars my name 2020 i was i had not turned i had not turned an 18 then i was still 17 so my bed is by march i was still 17 so i really wanted to start trading that 2020 i had this eagerness that, oh yeah i've been alone i've read a lot of books uh, i'm ready for this i know the market i know how to do this strategy works and i'm ready to secure the market all those things so i had that mindset already so i and my friend we you know contributed money our feeding money and everything in uni we sacrificed it and managed to get a what 50 dollars account that was a crypto account um yeah i don't know simple fx was the broker i used then they allow you to deposit to trade in btc but then it was not btc i think it was bit yes like yeah it was in bit just some units of btc but it was a crypto it was a crypto forex account so i didn't need to you know have to go through all this id verification and there was no age restriction so anybody could trade so that's the account i use you see a resilience i see went as far as well, as well getting my live account regardless of what restriction so lost the account and then i was now really focused on what learning the skill as a whole right i lost this account after like three days yeah after three days on the account i can remember my first profit my first profit was 452 bit i think i entered an account i will never forget that trade I'll never forget that trade. That trade, that is my first profit. Like that was my first life forex profit, and I loved the way I felt about that. That was um, that was GU. I entered that trade in the night, and I woke up in the morning, and I was like, oh, 400 and something. And that 400 and something then was about 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 three three or four dollars then around that range. Yeah, so it was in BIT. I think in hundreds of like I have to. It's like just a small small form of BTC so i made that profit there i was very 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 happy then that same day funny you know that same day i lost literally half of the account on just you know on just gold i was screaming in the class i became very frustrated i was regretting i was telling my friend that bro i don't understand this why is this too volatile so i never had this personal mentorship right because i couldn't afford one so i didn't have anybody to tell me that i avoid this avoid that I just enter the market with the same lots that is on gu and i got what's not so i got i got lots of trading strategy from people you understand because i couldn't afford mentorship as well so you know it was good like i couldn't even pay <laughs> i couldn't even pay you know 50 dollars for anything so i was just like trying to get everybody's information okay i use this to trade it works i'm like okay bring it let me learn it and and everything and so i started learning ichimoku cloud strategy harmonic patterns back magdil magdil strategy that indicator strategy um moving average crosses strategy but i kept on losing money regardless so the whole was just very bad i think i almost gave up then i texted the guy bro i'm going to give up on this like i i just want to focus on pharmacy school like i think when i'm done with pharmacy school i can continue trading and he told me something for sure he said michael if you leave forex trading right now and you say you want to come back after pharmacy school after pharmacy school right you regret stopping for trading then because you know you could have learned a lot during that time and that's really caught into my head and that's that really got into my head and let me tell you something if you're struggling with your forex trading and you start early just keep going you know keep going those are struggles are things those are sacrifices those are things that you learn to make you better in the future right this is something you want to do for your lifetime i guess yes so all these are like things you're going to like you know go through pass through you know so you don't have to run from them right you don't have to run from them do it's really messed up with my psychology right so then when we went back home for the covid break the pandemic and everything i had an encounter with a friend shout out to stan he introduced me to uh, he shared me a course 
right? Um, he showed me a course that he got from a very renowned world academy that was after FX. That was when my story changed. Now, mind you, I couldn't afford mentorship. Now, you can see why I'm saying this now is that you can see a very, very key, important part of what and ruling into a community or a mentorship program it's going to make your work easier like you're going to find it's just like they're going to find someone someone that's going to lead you but right now in forex industry there are lots of scams in this mentorship that's just the bad part of it and like before where people actually want to like you know really train you right now people just need your money but if you can get a very renowned mentorship that's very good. It will set you. It will set your your pace right. So that was when my story changed. I started going through the course during COVID break. I started seeing consistency in my results. So the trading. I started seeing the mistakes I was making in the past. And mind you, the mentor there was talking about psychology. A lot of things I could have avoided. I can remember when he told me to trade only two pairs. I was like, wow, why would I be trading only two pairs when there were two pairs? But I got to understand this. These are like things you get from all mentorship and i will advise you if you just aim for trading trust me trust me just try and enroll for a mentorship if you can't afford a mentorship it's fine you can learn from youtube but just try and save up for a mentorship it's something very very important don't skip that aspect so 2021 that was my journey into what problems and also larger what funding now in 2020 ending i found consistency as they making profit as they analyzing the market where as they getting buyers and everything so 2021 new year new goals i wanted to like you know you know expand on my my career my trading career i wanted to get more my hands on more funds so that i can like you know make a lot of tons of money so um since i um so I started becoming consistent. I tried profit my value, but then it was blue effects on FTM. Then um, I doubt blue effects could now I doubt that blue effects even have that 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 trading condition they had as of 2020. It was so strict, like I won't lie, it was so strict. Why? Because if you got a twenty-five thousand dollars account, you're restricted to one lot size, right? And you're also not meant to hold your position overnight. So you're just meant to trade from London session open, let's say by by 9 or by 8 a.m. and close your position by 10. So in anything you're doing, your position has to fall into that place. And the way I was trading then was just kind of, you know, kind of a swing, a, a, a swing format. So, and I was trading GPAUD and um, GPAUD and GU. So most of the time, GPAUD gives me entry during Asian session like around 4 a.m. 4 a.m., 5 a.m., but I won't be able to enter it. But by London session, it might have moved too. It was a very, very big, what, big, big, big challenge for me. So, but I still managed, like, I <laughs> say, BFX is an instant funding program, right? Yeah, they just give you instant funding. So, I almost made it to the payouts. I can remember me and my bro, me and my guy, we were like, you know, we were like, when I rode for it, we were trading, I was giving him the signals, I was saying, we were so close. Then you were meant to make, five percent of your account before you can make like you can get any withdrawal so if you don't make five percent of your account your subscription is gone so if you made four percent the subscription goes so you have to pay another money and then it was a lot i think it was around seventy five thousand naira. um you have to like pay again to continue from there so then we didn't even have the next seventy five thousand naira in our pockets right like to start again and everything so if we didn't make the five percent then the account was gone you get so like we're even working on that pressure and everything i doubt anybody we have that condition as a problem right now because we're all profits with all the restrictions they had but we didn't make it five percent so i lost the account i couldn't subscribe again i didn't have money for that then with time and I kept on trying and I moved into another program that was like FTM and MFF and that was when I got my first what five figures were funded account. That was ten thousand account, ten thousand dollars account. I got funded with FTM M M MFF ten thousand dollars account. I felt very good. I felt I felt that yes, I have grown at least at least I have a strategy for me not knowing how to like, you know, find biases in the market. For yeah, one thing you should take out or take notes or, or just take out for my trading journey is this. Let me give you now. One thing you should take out now is this. Number one, when you're learning Forex, right? 
try and like get just someone you consume information from like get someone you learn something from like you don't get it just make sure you avoid getting information from different sources make sure you avoid getting information from different people it's going to like mess up your dream and also try and get a mentorship like if you can't get a mentorship program right you can get a course from that mentor just just try if you can just try it's going to like help you honestly even if it's not going to like make you like profitable as your mentor but it's just going to set you apart right then you can keep on growing from there and don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this content remember we're trying to get to 1k make this possible for your boy see you guys in the legs Bye.